Okay, first off, let me start by saying something that I feel like people are going to dismiss uh, just because that's what the internet does. But I'm going to say it anyway, just so it'll be on record, okay? Uh, I am an Alabama fan, but I don't feel that this 2022 version of Alabama is playing with the intensity and the consistency of a playoff caliber team. I said it, people going to dismiss it, but I said it, <laughs> and that's how I really feel. That being said, uh, now that the college football playoff rankings have been released, uh, no real surprises in the top four. As of now, we know o uh, Ohio State and Michigan are going to play this Saturday, and they're going to work that out, and then the winner will probably, not probably, the winner will go on to the uh, Big Ten Championship. But when I saw that Alabama was at number seven, my ears perked up a little. I, I was thinking we may be at nine and then it may be a done deal. But now that Alabama's at seven, I just got to say, I see a path. It would be a chaotic path, but it's not an unreasonable path. And I'll break it down with you right now. Okay, first of all, being at number seven, we know only four teams are going to get in. So that means you really need three in front of you to slip up really bad and get out of the way, and anybody who may be, you know, in your in your shadow or creeping up behind you. With two weeks left, two weeks left, meaning you're the final week of the college football season, then the uh, conference playoff games, here's the path that I see. This is what would need to happen <laughs> for Alabama to sneak into the playoff. Uh, number one thing that would happen, uh, Georgia beats LSU, and I think they would have to beat them by a pretty decent amount. I'm thinking a double digit win. This would give LSU three losses. Okay. Three losses to Alabama's two. And of course, like many of the pundits on TV have already pointed out, Alabama's two losses were by a total, a total of four points. Uh, one last second field goal to Tennessee and the other uh, overtime two point conversion by LSU on fourth down. So very close losses, two good teams having uh, two good seasons. So I think if Georgia beats LSU, LSU is out of the way. Uh, the next thing, if TCU uh, were to slip up, I think they're playing Iowa State this weekend. And Iowa State has, I don't know, I don't know what this, maybe like four and five, four and six, something like that. So if they were to slip up there or if they were to slip up and lose uh, their Big 12 championship game, I think that puts them out of the playoff. Would that put them behind Alabama? We don't know, but I think that will put them out of the playoff. The next thing I think that will happen, the winner, the winner of Ohio State, Michigan would have to lose their championship game. Uh, I think that makes a tricky situation. They, they probably could still get in. I'm thinking uh, if, you know, that would, of course, be just a one-loss team. But I think losing that championship game is crucial to people because it's a what have you done for me lately. And if people, the last game they see you uh, play is a loss, I don't think that bodes well uh, for anybody when it comes down to picking the four teams uh, for the playoff. Uh, the next thing that would need to happen, USC. USC would need to lose to Notre Dame. They play Notre Dame this week, and then they go on to the Pac-12 championship. Uh, I think if they lose either one of those games, that will put them at two losses, and then their schedule is going to get compared to Alabama. I think Alabama uh, will come on top if you start comparing schedules. The last thing I think that would need to happen, uh, Clemson. Clemson will have to lose one of their last two. And the reason I'm saying that is because if Clemson wins out, they'd be a one-loss ACC champion. And I think that allows them to jump Alabama. So Clemson, I think if they lose one of their next two games, two losses, I think they will fall behind Bama. So if all of that happens, <laughs> you've got to put Alabama into the conversation just because there's not a lot of great teams in college football that don't have two losses this year. So uh, UGA beats uh, LSU uh, in the SEC championship in Atlanta. TCU loses one of their last two games, mainly the conference championship. The Ohio State-Michigan winner loses their championship game. I think that shakes up everything. Probably doesn't totally put them out, but it shakes it up. 
if USC loses to Notre Dame, and then if Clemson loses one of their last two. Uh, did I forget a scenario? Am I overlooking the game? Let me know in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think.